hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i decided to do a study of an eye for you guys and i'm gonna use cheap paint gouache reeves gouache paint they're a lot different from the um the artist grade windsor newton paint but i just want to show you guys that it's not necessarily the paint that makes the drawing looks good it's how you apply it and how you use it these paints they had a lot of weaknesses to them first of all when i first got them they stunk they stunk so bad they stink stunk they no longer stink but yeah i had to get used to the smell of these paints but anyway i for skin tone is this just the same color red yellow blue and white and i have just applied a base layer to the skin and i'm just going in i'm actually using reference for this one and it helps me to know where exactly to put the shadows and where exactly to put the light in one of the things i want to um advise anyone who out there who wants to know how to paint realistically one of the things to do is to think of the heads as in planes i don't know if you guys have ever heard about the asara head it has a lot of it has the face and the eyes broken up into different different planes so you could see if the light is coming from the top you could see where that light on that plane has fallen and if you actually paint the eye using the same color or value value means how light or dark a color actually is if you paint the eye using a certain value as it appears on the asara head it would be a lot more realistic and it will be more 3D if you're going for 3D, a 3D look of the eye. In 3D modeling, they have something called mesh, which covers the entire face and the eyes. It's this exact same idea as the planes. One thing my teacher um, told me is to draw planes that runs across the face. And it's really fun to do. It's hard to grab my mind around it initially, but after a while, is actually not that bad yeah so is a mesh of the face that you see in 3d modeling is actually quite fun to do and I'm just layering different layers and for the shadow colors you could use anything they recommend using blue I know I use brown I didn't really like it but you can actually use blue under the eyes and around the eye so the eyes actually sit back in the head on a socket and it casts a shadow. The eyes are always in shadows. I never knew this, but they actually are. So yeah, so all I'm doing right now is just layering the same colors, one on top of the other. And here I'm adding my all time favorite part of painting the eye, which is eyelashes. I love painting the eyebrows and the eyelashes. It just makes them look a lot more realistic they're fun to do I think of it like applying mascara to the eyelashes me putting paint on the eyelashes of this drawing reminds me of how I apply my mascara <laughs> not one by one to individual strokes of course but it's sort of without if a girl's out there who knows without mascara sometimes yeah you could look as though you have no eyelash but with mascara and an extra lash it looks as though you have a full full lash going and i also want to thank all you guys for subscribing and following me and all your kind comments over the last couple of months i read all of them and i appreciate all of them but there you have it guys almost to the end i hope you enjoy i hope i've said something that has helped you to paint the eye more realistically and if i haven't do let me know you can drop me a line down below I'll answer any questions you might have about this particular drawing or if you're not clear about my process, I could answer that in a question in the comment section. Okay, bye. 